To find the probability that a z-score lies between two numbers, we're going to do this in two ways. First of all, I'll show you how to do this using the normal probability distribution table, and then I'll show you how to do it using a spreadsheet. So first off, <clears throat> we need to look up both of these two z-scores and find the probability to the left. The general strategy here is that if we take the higher z-score, in my case, negative 2.2, find the area to the left, and then we'll find the area to the left of the other one, in my case, negative 2.93, which will be over here, and we subtract off this area to the left, we'll be left with the area between the two. So, first off, let's get the area to the left of the bigger one, negative 2.2. So looking up negative 2.20, I find that the probability to the left, or the area to the left, is 0 0.0139. 0 0.0139. And now what I'm going to do is subtract the area to the left of negative 2.93. So I'll go back to my probability table and look up negative 0.293. And I find that that is 0 0.0017. So I'm going to subtract 0 0.0017. All right, so a quick subtraction, you can find that that gives you 0 0.0122. Now, if I want to use this on a spreadsheet, I can do this a couple ways. First, find the area to the left of negative 2.2. I'm going to use the norm.s.dist formula for the standard normal distribution. And I'm going to plug in negative 2.2. This will give me the area to the left of negative 2.2. And see, it matches what I found on the table, 0 0.0139, 0 0.0139, with some more uh, decimals of uh, places of accuracy here. And then I'll find the area to the left of the other one. In my case, that is negative 2.93. So here I'm going to find the area to the left by plugging it into the formula. 0 0.0016, I had 0 0.0017, but if I round this to the fourth decimal place, you see that rounds up to uh, 0 0.0017. And now I just subtract the two. So I'm going to say equals the first one minus the second one. Now alternatively, I could have plugged it all in to one line. So I could say equals norm.s.dist of the first one, negative 2.2, minus norm.s.dist of the second one, the smaller one, negative 2.93 in my case. And that does it all in one line. 